Hello guys, you're welcome to the second video in this series. So in the last video we talked a little bit about the basics of um, game development and I explained a couple of things to you guys about games. So in this video we're going to be continuing by talking about coordinate systems. So what is a coordinate system? Well, a coordinate system is a set of points used to identify position of an object in space. Uh, this simply means that it is uh, it's a, a coordinate system contains numbers that are used to identify the position at which a point resides. So um, it simply means, you know, uh, in order to identify an object, you know, at a point in space, then we need to associate numbers with them. So coordinate system help us define uh, um, how to identify all these numbers in whatever space we are in and as you can see here we've got 2d coordinate spaces and we've got 3d coordinates and for 2d coordinates you can use two no you can use two numbers to identify the position of an object and more on that in a minute and uh, for 3d coordinates you actually define the position of an object um, using three numbers okay so um, this is an example of what a 2d coordinate looks like Okay, so you must have seen an example of this when maybe you uh, when you plot graph maybe in middle school or something or in your secondary school or whatever. So um, so this point here is the x and y, and this x and y are simply variables that uh, denote a particular number. So the origin is usually zero, starting from here, and this point specifies uh, you know a position of uh, or a point okay inside of this space so that is this is an example of a 2d coordinate okay and here you find an example of a 3d coordinate okay and you can see it is defined by the y x and z so the z right here is a little bit you know hard to draw so that's why it is um, shown that way but if you were to draw the z coordinate then the z coordinate will be pointing directly to the screen okay so it's more or less like you're gonna it's, it's gonna be pointing straight at you okay on the screen so you know that's that's kind of difficult to draw so that's why they put that uh, down right there okay so so in in this series we're gonna be focusing primarily on um, the 2d coordinate systems because you know you're beginners and it's kind of easier to start um, so once we're done with 2d and we've had enough knowledge of how the 2d uh, made enough 2d games and we understand how 2d the 2d coordinate system works then you know we're just going to add one extra coordinate and we're going to start talking about the 3d coordinates but we're going to start with the 2d coordinates in this series so that you guys can uh, you know start off easy okay so um, lastly let's talk a little bit about the computer screen okay so um, if you were in eighth grade or middle school or whatever i'm sure you've been taught you know the uh, a little about the coordinate systems and you know graphing and stuff like that so you remember when the origin is at the middle here you know you draw the north south east west and then you have the one two three and whatever okay so um essentially the same concept can apply to the computer screen okay so for your computer screen this is what it actually looks like okay for your graph when you're graphing something you know you have the negative x negative y positive x and positive y okay but for a computer screen you specify the visible parts of uh, whatever you whatever you're gonna draw to the computer screen has to be specified in positive numbers so whenever you draw something maybe say for example we were to uh, draw something on minus one here then it's not gonna be visible so only the shaded parts right here is gonna be visible to the computer so if you have a computer that has a resolution 1280 by 720 and you specify the x to be minus 1, then it's not going to draw it. So it's going to start drawing from the 0 right here um, to 1280 as the width. Okay, so that, that is specified in pixels as the units. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit more about pixels some you know sometime later. So, um, so here, the y is going to be 720 in the case of my example and so if you specify something higher than 720 then it's not going to be drawn on the screen ok 
okay because the screen resolution is 1280 by 720 so uh, so I hope you understand that example and so everything from the positive uh, from the shaded area here is gonna be drawn on the screen but all these white areas is not gonna be drawn so whatever point you specify in, in your coordinate system should be positive so if you if you take a look at um, this one right here if you take a look at this one um, you're gonna find that the zero starts from the top here and you know the y goes down and x still goes right as usual so in compute in the graph when you graph you actually your y goes up and uh, you know your x goes right I mean your positive y goes up your positive s goes to the right but in a computer screen in your computer screen in a typical computer screen okay for graphics your y goes down y the x goes to the right as usual so it's more or less like you can think of this y as flipped so you know the y like the arrow that's going up is simply flipped to go down so instead of um, specifying, so when you specify your 0, 0, you're simply talking about the top left corner of your computer screen, all right? And so when you specify like 50, then it's going to be somewhere, you know, down here. So, but if you were to talk about here, you know, 0, 0 will be, um, you know, it will be at the bottom, bottom left of your computer screen. So you have to take that into account. And understand that there are several graphic, um, graphic engines that actually change this convention some of them use this y down uh, y down convention why some others like OpenGL for example uses the y up so the zero starts from here and uh, you know the y goes uh, up the positive y goes up but in typical computer screens in most graphic engines you're gonna find that the y goes down and in the next video we're gonna start writing some code because I think explaining all of this theory is kind of boring so we're going to open up our ID and we're going to start working on uh, a very, very simple program that will get us started in our journey to learning game development. So I hope you guys understand this. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below. Uh, please like the video if it's okay with you and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.